Hi, it's Josh with RIB Radio, and this is a message from author C.J. Lovick on the word compassion. The first time the literal Hebrew word translated into English as compassion appears on the pages of Scripture is in Deuteronomy 13, 17b. It is there that we read that the Lord may turn from the fierceness of his anger and show thee mercy and have compassion upon thee and multiply thee as he hath sworn unto thy fathers. The entirety of Deuteronomy 13 is a song of Moses in which he reveals the simple message that God will not tolerate his people going after other so-called gods. His warning is not only to the children of Israel, but it's also to any so-called prophet or teacher that leads his children away from his way, even if that prophet produces signs and wonders. The Song of Moses prophesies that the children of Israel will not heed this warning and as a result will bring upon themselves dislocation, heartache, poverty, and too many sorrows to even enumerate. This is the context for the introduction of the Hebrew word literally translated compassion. The Hebrew word compassion is composed of three letters that are also pictures and numbers. The three letters are Resh, Chet, and Mem. The first letter in the Hebrew word for compassion is Resh. Resh is pictured as a person, or more accurately, the head of a person. It can be the picture of the supreme one, the first, the most important, the top, the master, the leader. It is the picture of a prince. The question is, the head or prince of what? Are we talking about the prince of heaven or the prince of the power of the air, the illegitimate ruler of this world? The second letter in the Hebrew word for compassion is Chet. Chet is pictured as a fenced or walled garden or inner room. It means private. It means to separate, to protect. It's a place of protection. To be cut off, it's grace and favor, a place of refuge, a protected garden, a quiet place, and finally, a secure sanctuary. The third letter in the Hebrew word for compassion is Mem. Mem is pictured as liquid and is most often associated with water, like the mighty waters of the ocean, massive as the waves of the sea, water that is chaotic and destructive, like a tsunami. Or it can be the water that comes down like a stream, the gentle life-giving rainwater that makes the desert bloom. The word is also in view as the rain that brings life that comes down from heaven. So you could picture Mem as the living water. There is no mystery as to the meaning of the word composed of Resh Mem. Resh is the prince. Mem, in this context, means confusion, chaos, deceit, and death. Resh Mem is the dark prince of the power of the air who brings nothing, only lies and death to those that serve and follow him. The picture of compassion is the picture of the ideal. It is the big picture. The big picture is simply this, that in the natural, and without divine intervention, man is on a pathway that leads to death and destruction. He is within the power and shares the destiny of the prince that he follows, the prince of chaos and confusion, the dark prince of hell. This simple picture truth is amplified by the Hebrew word for deceit or deceiver. The Hebrew word for deceiver is resh mem, the same letters that bookend the Hebrew word for compassion. One more letter is added to make clear the meaning of who is the great deceiver, and that is the letter He, which means to reveal. So the great deceiver is pictured as Resh, the prince of Mem, chaos and confusion, that He reveals lies. To continue the Hebrew word study for the word compassion, click the link in the article or visit livingwordin3d.com.